Thanks for the raid.
Hello, it's me, Ariza Gaming. I'm back. Hello, back guy. Thank you very much for the raid. Hope you're doing well. Hope your owning has been going all right. Hello, XD got creepered. Your Quinn died. I don't know. That's not very good. Let's get some game music back in here. Um, apologies for being slightly late. Uh, we have been very busy today. Um, there is a new YouTube video that is currently being uploaded. So that will come out tomorrow and the VOD will come out uh, shortly afterwards, the day after. <laughs> close my video editing program <laughs> but hope you're doing well glad to see you're all enjoying the new emotes we uh acquired a shit ton of emotes thanks to the last oni stream where we had a massive hype train so that's a lot of fun uh but yeah let's head on over to the game what are we going to do today so where were we where were we game yeah there we go so we had just set up a full rodriguez spawn we're pretty convinced that it's working properly. The hydrogen seems to be behaving up here. We've set the Atmos sensors to the right levels. The electrolyzers are running. So we do have a good amount of oxygen now, which is nice. Uh, we also set up a Radbot generator that is just going to power our radiation research. So I believe we're currently getting the conveyor receptacles research so that we can finish up our hatch ranches. We can remove these storage bins and just load everything in a bit more of an efficient manner. Um, I believe we've dumped a load of extra heat into the base than we wanted because we have been fertilizing these plants with hot dirt, which is amazing. So we're probably going to have to work on active cooling. Um, we put it off for a while. We're trying to get some passive cooling in through just letting space absorb heat. We do. We are contributing to the heat problem as well because we're running hot oxygen out of these pipes and we were cooling it off in space but space appears to have run out of a lot of cooling capacity um we're kind of getting somewhere but not really <laughs> yes club step you now have the subscribe emotes you all have the subscriber badge as well the lovely platy badge so i think the first thing i'm honestly going to do is i'm just going to take these radiant pipes and we're going to send them all the way over here hello Farrah frost hope you're doing well I'm not sure where the music is. I think the music's going to come in in a minute. So, I think what I want to do is I want to make a six wide bit for pipes. I think we're going to dig a lot of this this light out. Wait, it didn't play the honk. It's not right. What is going on with these sub alerts? Oh, not sub alerts, sound alerts. That's no good. I'll honk instead. Honk! Club <laughs> Step is, uh... Being elitist towards Ferrofrost. Nice, nice. Right, let's just dig out some of this. Let's dig out these tiles. Um, don't really care about them too much. We'll dig out the ice as well. That's fine. I will make some more doors down here. Someone is starving. That's not a good sign. Uh, food is relatively scarce. What I want to do today is actually put some shove bowls in. We have plans for shove bowls. Um, I've had a look at GC Fungus's video on shove bowls, and I'm going to try and replicate that build today. And we're going to fit them up here probably, because I don't think there's anything else I really want to use the space for. Hello, Sinister Plank, hope you're doing well. Um, I can definitely help with some of the mechanics of the game. I did like the poke shell ranch designs. I thought they were cool. They were, um, they were very pokey and very shelly. Cut your finger, that's no good. Right. First things first, these pipes need to get extended around here. So, we have plenty of aluminium, so let's actually just send it this way. We're going to need six loads of pipe, because we're going to need it six high, because we're going to run three pipes around here and three pipes back. But this is going to be quite a fit for space, I think. Let's see, let's dig this, and let's actually just send this pipe this way. I want to get this done first, and then we'll do the shine, uh, the shot balls. I need to stop calling them shine bugs. This is irritating me now. So, let's see. We're going to have to dig out some of the abyss light as well. I want to make sure I'm putting these all in tiles where you can actually build them all. Uh, we're going to dig that out as well, so I can come down here. That's fine. And reach up here. One, two, three, four. Yep. Uh, you can dig these tiles out as well. That probably won't go there. That'll probably go here. 
Yes. You made a door plus a uh, tile tier list. Yes, I did see that on the Discord. It's a bit weird. Um, I, I don't mean it's a bit weird. I mean, there's not really enough of them. I don't feel like a tier list really means a lot. Like, you're going to build them all in their different use cases. I guess it's just ranking which use cases are most relevant most of the time. Right. Did we actually... No. I think we're going to have to have people eat the hexalin fruit. Because I'm not having people just actually starve. We're not going to have the bat starve after they just raided us. That's no good. But yeah, we'll plan out this pipe route. I'm going to be... I'm, I don't mind digging the ice. I shouldn't be digging the ice, but we're going to. Because I just need to fit this pipe in at this point. Uh, so that can go up here. To this point. Because we can build... No, something has gone wrong here. Build. I think this is where... Two, three. No, we can still build all of that. That's fine. So that goes like that. We'll need to dig all these tiles out. Congratulations on being first at Ferrofrost. I'm going to try honking again in a minute. I'm not sure why that didn't work. Yeah, one minute and eight seconds. Yeah, we just finished recording the Shinebug video. That video has been cursed. They have just been misbehaving, the Shinebugs, while I've been trying to record them. But I think the build ended up pretty good. Why are carpet tiles and metal tiles so high in decor value? I mean, it, carpet tiles make sense, doesn't it? It's pretty carpets. They've got pretty patterns. I think we removed some carpet tile over here. May I, maybe we didn't. I think we did. Also, we got some new blueprints. What's in the blueprints? Let's see. Hmm. Loot. Give me some good loot. Oh my god. We got the PhD jacket. That is some nice loot. I, I am for this. We're, we're giving this to everyone. I'm not waiting. We're giving this to everyone right now. What else we got? We're going to get the matching outfit stuff? That would be really nice. No, some Atmo gloves. Okay, I don't really care about those. What else we got? We have got one more. It just wasn't clicking through for some reason. We got the mush bar balloons. Not bad, not bad. Right. I'm going to try honking again. These sound effects are cursed. Okay, that worked. But it's still showing the fish. It shouldn't be showing the fish. I turned that off. There you go. There's your honk. Just studying. You can't really multitask right now. Fair enough. Um, see you later. And if you and if you want to watch the vod, you know where to find it. So yeah, let's just start with doing this. I can probably dig out most of this stuff, and I probably want to. Actually, this is going to be absorbing the heat. But then we can't exactly put the pipe through here. Keep thinking about this. So that's going to go over here. Two, three, four. So that is... Go up here. Yes. Okay. So then we'll dig all of this out. And then we'll dig some of this bottom abyss light out as well. Uh, we got some chlorine that is evaporating. That's fine. So basically, you have some cobalt sitting in cool salt water, and I have a move error in Olympic yellow alert priority. Is that your volcano tamer? Is that how you're doing it? I do that for gold. I don't do that for cobalt. Cobalt has a bit more heat in it. Yeah, May is doing the research. It's nice. We are actually researching the conveyor receptacles, right? Yeah, okay. That'll be done soon. Hmm. You have Prime video, Amazon Prime. Nice, nice. Yeah, it's not it's not too difficult to connect it to Twitch. There there are guides on the internet, and it is a benefit of your Amazon Prime membership that you get the free Twitch sub. So if you have it, it's definitely worth getting it set up, and then you get access to all the emotes. I, look, I, here's another new emote. You guys are gonna like this one. <laughs> This is for when uh, I immediately set everything to priority nine. I've been wanting to add that for a while. <laughs> when I get some more slots, I'll add like a stationary one. But for now, we have the animated one because for some reason, I have more animated slots than uh, regular slots. I don't know why. 
Yes, now, now you guys can spam nines whenever, whenever we set it. But yeah, you could reach all of these. I've actually mathsed it pretty well, I think, with where the pipe is going. So let's keep doing it like this. So that's going to come down here. And then I think I can just leave it there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Yeah, there's some good ones. We uh, we had quite the haul. Okay, so we're going to leave that there. We're going to leave these tiles here just to actually build these for now. And then this is hot. So I think we actually end it here and recirculate it. I think we'll just do it like that. Uh, Yeah. We'll just dig all of this. That's fine. I mean, let's just double check. It looks like this oxygen is coming into the base fairly cold, and this area is just fairly hot. So, it's kind of working. These mealwoods are not doing very well. We have to plant more mealwoods. The problem is, the dirt is just too hot. We could probably start murdering a few hatches. I don't really want to. We'll murder you. I don't think we're actually going to use you, Mr. Sage Hatch. I don't really want to murder too many other critters, though. There's probably more muckroot we can dig around as well. So maybe we do that for now. Oh yeah, look. There's loads in here. Let's just dig all of this. And then we can come in here. We can just do it like that. Did I put a door here to stop you from coming through here? No, we just dug up a tile here. Okay, that's fine. Build that ladder. We're already nine it. <laughs> My lazy dupes aren't doing the move task. Yeah. Um, auto sweeper. On a conveyor rail. Have a conveyor shut off when it gets below a certain temperature. We do have a YouTube video on a YouTube channel about metal volcano taming uh, in general. The principles are all there. You can either do it with self-cooled steam turbines or actively cooled steam turbines with a thermo aqua tuner in the room. Uh, I often end up doing self-cooled ones because I'm lazy. But if you have the capability, I would recommend connecting a thermo aqua tuner and actively cooling it. Because then you can get the metal out nice and cold so your duplicates is not still too hot for your duplicates. I still don't trust this thing. But it does appear to be working. We'll keep an eye on it. But yes, at least the air is breathable now. We're slowly getting more meal ice again. I think the issue really is just the dirt temperature. Like, look at all this hot debris down here. Oh, we shouldn't have dug through this. This is the issue as well. Rodrigo's bad. I know. <laughs> I don't like them. But we have to build them. You've got to do it at least once. I think there's heat leaking out of here as well. We don't actually... This door is turned off. I think we need to insulate this now. Yeah, just do that. Already nine it. But we had to build it at least once, because this is literally the first time I've ever built one. It's it's a it's a classic build. I'm gonna have to lower this one, aren't I? Yeah. Here and here. It's gonna have to come like on the game. Okay, that's fine. Right, we have the conveyor receptacles. That is good. It overpressurizes itself and mixes gases. Yes. Um, I mean, we're still going to get the throughput we want, and we're certainly not consuming anywhere near this ox amount of oxygen yet. We haven't even hooked up all these pipes, to be honest. I probably should do that. Let's actually just, for now, go down here and dump some more oxygen. Uh, so just put a gas vent here. And I guess maybe just put one... You know what? This is not very organized, but this is going to be what we do for now. This is just going to go over here and it's going to vent into the bedrooms. Because that's where they're going to be breathing all the oxygen anyways. Because this area is still cold. The gas is still coming out cold. 
so that's fine. Uh, we will need to dig these. We'll need to dig these. And then the next lot of pipes is going to come like this, so we can keep building all of these as well. Uh, what is this? That is going to need to be a regular tile, I think, or maybe just a ladder. It's fine. So this is just going to follow this around like this. This is going to use a lot of aluminium ore. I want to see how effective it's going to be. Yeah, we're literally going to have it, it be three pipes going this way and then they're going to come back. So we're going to have to put some ladders in so they can actually build everything. Which is very amusing to me. So that's actually going to cut off here. And then we're going to have another one come in here. We're going to need to put a ladder over here. It's fine. I am not going to pretend this is the most organized run in the world, but I don't think that's the point. Oh, look! This is glowing. Why is this glowing? We're on cycle 99. Do we get, like, a special party at cycle 100 now? That's very funny. It's definitely making a noise. You can hear that, can't you? <laughs> it's ominous. No, you just get nothing. Well, I mean, I, I don't, I don't expect we're going to actually get anything, but something is going to happen. Right, there we go. So that is the return, and then we're just going to loop it back on itself in a minute. The suspense, the suspense is killing me. Also, nobody redeem a hydrate. <laughs> I, uh, I did not bring any squash. I have some downstairs. Amazing! We get music. Very nice. That's definitely new. I haven't heard that before. <laughs> I like it. We did it. We we officially survived. Oh, blimey. Who's got skill points? Mima, you can have ranching. Excellent. You've needed ranching for a while. Barofrost, you can have uh, building, I think. But yeah, the shove bowls. I'm going to build them with obsidian. How much obsidian do we actually have? We have 8,500. 8, That's a number. So we're going to make 42 obsidian tiles. I think that's actually good enough. I think that would work. We're still running this coal power plant. Yeah, I think that's fine. Right, um, research. Let's continue doing research. Do I want to do anything else? Regarding active cooling, I think we're going to do that with the ethanol condensation trick at some point. But let's see how much cooling we can get out of space first. I might honestly just hold on to research for now. I want the dupes to build all this pipe. Right, let's speed up. Yeah, insulate this. This will help with the temperature as well. Yeah, mealwoods. These mealwoods are growing. These ones are not doing super well. Ethanol cooled turbines. <laughs> no. No, we're gonna uh, we're gonna repeatedly evaporate and condense ethanol and use the SHC difference, specific heat capacity difference, to delete heat instead of using steam turbines. We could use steam turbines. But I just want to give this a try. Like, we could get down here. It probably wouldn't be the end of the world. But I do want to give it a try. This run seems like a good opportunity to test stuff that we wouldn't normally do. Yeah, you're getting over here. This is... This is not optimal. If, you know what? I think we're just going to tile this. I don't think that's going to cause an issue. Uh, we can't tile this bit. The rest of that is fair game, I think. So let's make that priority 9. And we'll set the rest of the constructions to priority 8. So this water geyser is going to erupt again in 22 cycles. We've moved everything out of here. I think what we do is we just seal it off completely. I'm still annoyed that the fire pole got cut off, but I mean, that's not the end of the world. I don't think we're going to have any actual major dupe habitation stuff this high up. Uh, but yeah, let's actually do the conveyor receptacles before I forget. Again. Good to see all the oxyferns are working at least.
We still have the pips. We could definitely do stuff with pips, but I'm going to do the shove bowl related stuff first. So what's going to happen is this room's going to fill with water. The CO2 is all going to get pushed into one tile. And we'll put an airflow tile here. Let the CO2 out. And then we'll uh, keep the water in here. And we'll just pump it into the spawn. Oh, wait. Ah, okay. Um, That's not good. Let's actually just put a mesh tile here. And that way you're not going to scold yourself. That would be a good idea, wouldn't it? I mean, this water isn't scolding anyways. But, I mean, better be safe than sorry. Yeah, you guys, you guys love building pipe. You're going to have a whale of a time doing this. Again, I'll keep an eye on the oxygen temperatures. This oxygen is a bit warm because there's not too much actually radiant pipe here. So maybe we cut this one off just for now. Yeah, this still looks like it's working correctly. Let's press notifications on this one. Yeah, so that's going to come around like this, and then we're just going to snake it back here. Uh, in terms of temperature, this bit here is also fairly cold, so I'm not too worried about that. And I'm probably going to want to build some temp shift plates at some point. Gas to solids does get a 25 times increase in thermal conductivity, but solids to solids is not very much. So perhaps what we'll need to do is we'll need to occasionally dig the material out once it's warmed up. Oh my god, look at this. we got a pipe building frenzy going on. That's what happens when we're just dumping oxygen into the whole map, I suppose. Also, this is the only forest biome. This is all of our aluminium ore. I'm not sure I should really be using it for this, but it is the most conductive material. How's the uh, slime lung situation? Are we alright on that front? Yeah, there's no germs over here by the satellites, believe it or not. Um, There's still germs over here. That's fine. Right, speedy three. Speed three is fine. Yeah, this stuff is too hot. I shouldn't have um I shouldn't have dug this up. And then there's hot debris over here, but there's also cold debris. So it's, I think it's kind of balancing out over here. Maybe not over this bit. Cold gas is starting to come down a little bit, which is nice. This is coming out a little bit too warm. Yeah, this is... Yeah, we need to get this pipe finished sooner or later because this is not cooling effectively at the moment. So let's see. This is going to come around here like this. Pretty sure we can just do that. It's going to come up here like this. And then it's just going to fit back down here. I'll need to make sure that we keep the doors here. So we're not letting the shove bowls through. Hey, look, I actually called them shove bowls. That's good, isn't it? It's in the pod. We got... Oh, I do still want to take dupes. I still do want to take dupes if they're good. We got some buff dupes. Unconstructive is not something I'm interested in. Caregiver is not something I'm interested in. We're kind of low on food at the moment. Maybe we don't take any of these. Maybe we just take the hatch. That's probably the sensible thing to do. I was not overly impressed. Um, oh, that's all priority 9. Why is it all priority 9? Let's just set this all to priority 8. Then you can't actually reach this one because I miscalculated. How irksome. I can go there. Can you reach this? Frankie, you can have extra suit training. There you go. Our first suit train dupe. That's nice. So the base is probably going to heat up for a little bit while we're dumping in all this hot oxygen.
oxygen. We should cool it down again fairly soon. Okay, um, you still can't reach this because you can't actually get onto this ladder. Amazing. That was very well planned out, wasn't it? So now we can go through here. And that should be fine. You will need to put a ladder here. We're going to need a few ladders. Obviously, we're not going to be able to reach any of this roof bit once we've done this, but that's actually okay. We also need to make sure we don't dig all the way through this abyss light. Because there is heat transfer going on here that I don't really want. No, I'm feeling pretty good about this so far. This is definitely going to be a bit more of a speed 3 run than usual, but that's okay. Right, so now, let's actually come down here. Let's start doing all of this. Oh, I've realized a flaw with this plan. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna need a break into this bit. Right, hold, hold the phone. Right, okay. Hook this all up. World's most well-organized pipes. Now, this is literal spaghetti. It's yellow, it's, it's long and wavy. This is, I mean, I don't think you can get more spaghetti than this. Although, it's not overly complex. I guess real spaghetti isn't overly complex. It's just lots of long strings. They don't tend to bend too much. I don't think this is going to cause any issues. It will take a little bit of time to dig through all the abyssal light, but that's okay. We just need to make sure that any gaps that we leave are resealed. And then we'll hook that up again in a minute. So that's going to be a gap there. And then that will do. Okay. <laughs> there we go. That's very sensible piping, isn't it? Nice big radiator. So that's going to come through here somehow. And then we're going to hook it up to all these actual pipes that are currently going to the base. Yes, that's okay. So, in terms of actual access, I will need to dig this. I'm sure someone will get trapped. We did have enough aluminium left over. Yeah, we did have enough. That's good. Good, good, good. Oh, um, I need to turn off the Radbolt generator when this is... So this needs to go on priority 9. This needs to go this... Oh, God. This isn't going to be neat no matter what. Put too many doors in. Right, that needs to go down here. And then we just need a knot gate. Go to this. So when this is full, this will turn off. Sounds good. Why did I build all this medical stuff here? I'm not using it. Food is relatively low. I mean, I could try applying some more wheels up here. Just for now. Yes, we should probably try it. The thing is glowing red. We have less than a day's worth of food left, and we ate all the hexalent. Do we actually dig these? No, you still can't get through here because you didn't build this because we can't actually reach down here. Okay. And more ice melted over here. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> we have separated ourselves from George. Probably worth digging up some extra muck roots, you know? Right, how's this going? Yeah, because we don't want the cold to just run on its own all the time. We shouldn't actually need the coal eventually. This should run fine on its own eventually. But I'm not overly fussed at the moment. We have plenty of coal. 
coal stocks are going to continue to increase. Um, the hatch ranches filling up. Yep, there we go. We have three full ranches. I might actually move the dropper a bit further up and add even more hatches. We'll see. Let's give it a try. Let's give more mealwoods a try. I'm hoping if we put them up here, it's not going to catch the eye of all this hot debris. Like these, um, like these pots did. You are idle. Why? Because... You can't get through here. Can't skill you up, can I? There's no aluminium for you to dig either, okay. Um, I think I'm gonna have to get you to make a ladder then. Yeah, go ahead and build that ladder. Yeah, I, I should have guessed they were gonna do the tasks in this order. It's probably fine. So long as you're the only one that was actually trapped. Yeah, now you can get down. Good. <laughs> it's all sorted. So let's see. Where's this currently going? So that is going here. That should be coming out here. So we can hook that up like that. And then... Oh, wait. It's going to be a bit more complicated than I thought. Yeah, I'm going to have to tweak this just to add. I'll wait until this is all actually done, though, and it can all actually loop around. But I think we actually calculated this all pretty well. Yeah, you are actually able to reach all of this. We'll have to ladder up if we're going to access any of this area, but that's not a problem. we got over here liquid chlorine. Nice, nice. Yeah, I think having the hydrogen generators just expose the heat to space is definitely just a play at the moment. Okay, these mealwoods are growing. That's good. Okay. Alright, starvation averted. I definitely want to do shove bowls. I definitely want to get some starvation ranch shove bowls going. Now, I, now that I've watched GC Fungus's video. And I think I understand what I need to do. But yes, it's very much a case of we need to let the... We need to space cool everything first. So, yeah, just be three time, really. What drywall are we going to do everywhere? We have a few different ones. <laughs> Mush bar diagonal everywhere. I don't know. Oh, actually, that reminds me. Sorry, I've got to do this. We're making a new outfit. Um, wait, we actually have... No, that's, we don't have that outfit. So... With the basic black outfit. Restyle this. Let's add the PhD velour jacket. Look at this. Look at this, how smart it is. Save a copy. Uh, PhD style. Okay. And now, I'm going to go. I'm going to replace his normal duplicates. So open wardrobe. Jolly Downy, a sign. There we go, look at that. They're no longer mischievous thieves. They're actually going to be stylish duplicants. But th this should definitely be like a primo girl thing. Come on, it's just it's just too smart. These guys have made it the 100 cycles. They have graduated to the point of uh, no longer being dirty thieves. Don't mind me, this is just going to take like a minute. Men in Black Colony. Yeah, pretty much. I like it. We've got to unlock the rest of the PhD stuff. I might be a little bit biased. It's certainly possible. Oh, look, we've got George on the menu now. We can give George... We can give George's PhD. Look at this. Look how smart George is. We haven't, we haven't got him yet, though. We are just aware of his existence. How are you doing, Dr. Dangerous? Well, there are a lot of duplicates. 
Please tell me there isn't actually a assign all button. Doing good, playing along like usual. Nice, nice. I don't understand why Nails look so much like Sombra from Overwatch. Maybe just a coincidence. <laughs> Imagine if one of the dupes just ended up with the wrong outfit by accident because I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Quinn can have the flip fathers outfit again. I'm so happy we were finally able to put Quinn on an emote. I made a short about it as well. I don't think anyone really understood the short. <laughs> it's um, it's a Baki reference. Anyone watched Baki? Anime that seemingly doesn't make any sense and has lots of characters. Okay, I pressed the wrong button there. Seemingly has lots of characters peeing on each other. Reminded me of Oni. Right, look at this. Parallel dupes. We'd have to reload it, wouldn't we? Oh, hold on. Oh, I missed the trick. I missed the trick. Yeah, no, I don't think you do. No. <laughs> I don't think you do. Right, I need to go to the actual duplicates that I have, right? Not the ones, not the ones in this menu. Mm -hmm. I have forgotten. I have forgotten what to do. Okay. Whatever. We'll think about it later. You're not wearing them. Frankie has had contact with slime lung germs. Amazing. Some of you guys are wearing Primo Garb already, though. So, you are going to have to get in here to do this, which means we're going to have to actually break in, and it's going to be annoying. So, we're going to have to break in on both sides. Also, this definitely needs to be insulated immediately. I don't think anything else does. Those need to be priority nines, because actually we're just letting all the heat out now. Look at this. That is not what we want. I think I did want to access this eventually anyways. Um, and if we were going to come in through here. We would need to put a door here to stop the shut bowls anyways. This is obsidian tile. So that would be fine. And then you could come down here and then we just put a ladder here. And then I think we would just have to put ladders here, 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 and climb up here. We'd have to get in this way as well, which is annoying. Unless we just, <laughs> unless we just demolish this. Do I give a shit about the critical fluxmatic? I don't think I want to demolish it. That would be mean. Right. There we go. That's been sealed off again. That's good. Okay. So you found more muckery again. Yeah, dig this up. Dig these. That's fine. Yeah, this is going to be the annoying bit. Oh, you can access all of this anyways. Okay, that's not a problem. Okay, that's fine. So this should all just work. Just going to take a little bit of time. Means more Pepsi. And I am so busy at the moment. Between the wedding planning and this and work like because i've got a load of site visits coming up i'm gonna post on the discord about site visits once they're all confirmed because it sounds like i honestly might be busy for just the next two weeks like out and about on the road which i'm not overly pleased about ada is trapped let's uh solve that So you can put a ladder here. There you go. Look at the pipes. So that's almost all done. 
Not one of them is working yet, though. So give it a minute. These plants seem to cool down again. That's good. Very glad this is working without any problems. It's nice that we built this build a few times now and it's not really failed us yet. They flower under skill point. They got. Uh, let's give me building. Seems good. Yes, yeah, so this has been turned off now. That's excellent. So I can remove all of this stuff over here because we no longer have this gas pump over here. That is redundant. So that can go there. And then we can start thinking about the shovels because I think I'm just going to... I'm going to have a few different starvation bits and then we're just going to have somewhere where we shovel all the eggs. I want to be quite efficient today in terms of like what I'm actually doing on stream. So we're going to get this done and we're going to get the shovels sorted out. And we're, we're probably going to be a little bit shorter than usual just because I need to finish off the Shinebug video. Actually, the video is finished. I just need to upload it and sort out all the YouTube crap and I'm definitely not going to have time tomorrow. Buff? Oh, you're trypophobic? Oh, that sucks. Nyctophobic allergies? Yeah, no. None of these. None of these. Ashcan, you can have digging. Everyone should get hard digging, just in case. Right. I think you're actually getting there. This area is cold, so I'm not super concerned about the heat leak here. Where are you going? You're idle. What are you doing? Are you trapped? No, I think you are just actually idle. Okay. What else do I want you to do? Um, you can start doing some research. I feel like we're probably going to do the arcade cabinet fairly soon. So we can go do that. Uh, you can wrangle this guy. Maybe. Yeah, you're really not up to very much. Um, right, let's actually think about these pipes here. So, this pipe needs to come out here. Right, I just need to disconnect a load of this. Right, let's just disconnect a load of this for now. So, this pipe needs to come out here. And this pipe needs to come out here. And then this one needs to come down here. Ah, we need to do more on this end as well. Okay, that's fine. Mm -mm -mm. Did you do Drekos yet? Uh, we found a Dreco, but I'm going to kind of intentionally not do them for a while. Um, because we already have some Atmo suits that we found from the sat satellites. And we have oil biomes. We could do Drekos. That probably will happen fairly soon. It would make sense. I do just want to do a few things a little bit differently than I normally do. Right. Uh, this door section is going to have to go like this, isn't it? What the shine? The shove bolts. Mm -hmm. And you can run along these doors, so that should be fine. Right, let's speed up again. Yes, the Drekos are over here. Um, we would probably put someone in a suit to come and collect them because of the, sh the slime lung germs over here. But there's also the steam vent over here, like the actual hot steam vent. There's quite a few fun things to do on this save. There it is, there's the oxygen. Absorbing all the chill. You guys should get this done fairly quickly. I believe you can access all of this. You can, yeah, you can run along the doors. That's not really an issue. Yeah, dig out this metal as well. And then we're all sorted. But I do want to just grab the shovels first because they're going to be annoying and I kind of want to remove all these doors. 
<laughs> Interested to see how I deal with meteors too? Yes, I haven't dealt with meteors yet, and we probably are going to deal with them fairly soon. Right, is that actually done? Like, properly done? Do I... I think I do still want those vents to be there. Yeah, there we go. Some nice... Now let's heat it up again. It's going to chill this area. Oh, I think I need to just uh, deconstruct these vents now. I think if anything, I would probably just put this vent up here. That makes sense. you just got that one pipe left to do. Okay, there you go. So now that one's going to flow as well. Okay, so now we've actually got all... We've got all three... Um, different pipes flowing. Hoping it's actually going to cool down the oxygen by the time it actually runs through here. So let's just confirm that's the case first. It's starving again. Back to starving again. Amazing. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. The oxygen do be flowing. It looks like a lot of heat is being leaked out of here, which is... Yeah, I guess this hot zone is just going to creep around here slowly. Looks like it's happening quite quickly. I, I imagine this is just going to equalize fairly well. So that gas pipe is full of hot. It is all cool coming through here. The water is being dumped out here. I probably don't want these pipes being... I probably don't want these being radiant here, do I? So maybe I actually just do it like this. Yeah, have it go up to that level not being radiant. And then make it radiant in the actual cold bit. Yeah, there's so much chill in space, it should take ages to sort out. So you're building you're building hot pipe. Nice, nice. Yep. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Right. I think the best thing to do is probably just to leave this to run for a while and see what happens. Right. Okay. So let's actually get the... Oh, I just realized something. The idle notifications mod uh, crashed earlier for some reason, so that's not actually running at the moment. Ah. So the dupes are being idle, I'm not aware of it. Okay, well, I'll just have to cope with that for now. So, uh, there is a build. There is a build for a shovel ranch. Um, Mr. GC Fungus is responsible for this build. Let me give him a shout out. In case you're not familiar with this excellent any content creator. You probably are. They do stream occasionally. Um, right, so let's just put it over here for now. So we're going to want to take all of our obsidian. We've now got a little bit more. That's nice. So that's going to go over here. That's going to go over here. We're going to put some doors in. That's fine. I don't think it matters what the doors are made out of. The shove balls can't go through the pneumatic doors. Or the, the, the you know, yeah, the pneumatic doors. So, we want to make this five wide. Mm hmm And then more doors, I think. And we have each... We have each shove bowl enclosure be five... Five tiles. The starvation ranched ones. Uh, so, just, yeah, deconstruct all of this. 
That's where the doors are going to go. And we can actually fit another one here. Maybe. Um, I can just leave it like this, to be honest. But, uh, yeah. Okay, so we'll just make this a slightly bigger one. That's fine. Yes, shove bowls is certainly a critter that I can... I think I can probably tick off my list of things that I actually know enough about to talk about in a tier list video now, after watching that video. Uh, we will need to make all of this obsidian. Look how nice the obsidian tile looks in the True Tiles mod. Isn't that fancy? And then the Abyss Light here will restrain everything else as well. I'm going to make a few of these rooms because I want to ramp the population up pretty quickly and... Doing it this way, you get less eggs, but it also takes very little material to actually feed them. Normally, shove bowls are extremely greedy. They eat 4.8 tons per cycle of dirt, regolith, or iron ore. If you're feeding your shove bowls iron ore, please seek help. So we're going to be feeding these regolith, believe it or not. We're going to be feeding them a very small amount. We are going to need to... Actually, I don't think we even need to worry about the debris because they can only eat those three things. There isn't any of that debris in here. Um, this is kind of annoying. I think... Yeah, so we've got six bits here. Do I want to add any more? No, because that's, a, that's all the obsidian we have. Okay. But here's what I'm thinking. We have five regular rooms. I'll bring that door in a little bit and then that, that'll be the same size. We'll have, we'll have five actual breeders where we had the shove bowls being fed. And then we'll have all the actual storage for the shove bowls down here. Okay, so now we need to actually build the rest of these things. Also, I don't know why I'm putting everything up here. Um, I guess I just wanted the shove bowls out of the way. We're going to definitely remix what's going on with the base later. Um, but I just wanted to put this in place first just to get the food production going. So let's see. I don't think it really matters what we make this out of. I'm going to start making stuff out of copper. But all five of these rooms will be identical. So we put in the grooming stations. We'll put in the critter feeders. Shub bowls do not get overcrowded. Um... We're only going to have one shovel in here anyways, but we can have all the rest of the shovels down here, and that's not going to cause any issues. Right. Um, that is good. Oh, wait, hold on. I forgot to do something again, didn't I? I forgot to add the comparisons. So those need to go here. Thanks for the follow. Thank you very much for the follow, Amarth Z. Enjoy your fish and frog related emotes. Whiskers sends their regards. So I believe I'm just going to set this loader here to sand. Yep. And we're going to fill that. That can be priority five, I guess. Then that can just go on a conveyor rail all the way down here. Feed all these conveyor receptacles. And that can be manual use. So instead of dumping all the sand in those four bins, they're going to dump it in these bear receptacles. Hey, Glibisk, how you doing? We are, we just set up a big ass uh, network of radiant pipes to, <laughs> to bleed heat into the space biome. That was very much the plan. So the oxygen is now relatively cool. This has actually worked a little bit, I believe. This is just hot because it's not moving anywhere. Big ass networks of pipes, I approve. Yes, this is literal spaghetti because it's yellow. Yellow and voluminous. So this is our oxygen cooling solution for now. I'm not sure how effective it's going to be, but we'll see. The base is full of oxygen, and now we're doing shove bowls because I feel like doing shove bowls. I watched GC Fungus's video on it, and I want to test it out. So, we're going to put a critter drop-off in each of these, and we're going to put one shove bowl in each of these cells. This is basically shove bowl prison. Yeah, now we have the conveyor receptacle. This makes sense as well. So, let's see. What else do we need here? Auto sweepers. Balls. We need more refined metal. 
We uh we haven't got a metal refinery set up yet. We definitely do not have enough cooling down all of those. We could I mean we can keep dumping coolant over here, but eventually that's gonna catch up to us real quick. You know what? This water is cool enough. I could probably metal refine with this water. I'm just gonna set up a quick and dirty one, I think. Dump a metal refinery in a cold biome? Yeah. Um Yeah, that's I think that's what we're going to do. You know, right on top of the radiant pipes. <laughs> um Can I fit one over here without all the regolith coming down? Kind of. Put one here. That is very funny. I like it. So, I think what we would do is we would put the door here, and then you'd be able to access all of this. So, in terms of power... What is this actually connected to? The electrolyzers and the gas pump. And the rad bolt generator. I think, honestly, if we don't do any radiation research, we can run the metal refinery. So I think we just do it like this. Uh, okay. <laughs> Maybe we make a little bit more with the rock crusher. But yeah, quick and dirty metal refinery seems like a good play. Because we can just pump the water out from here. In fact, we can actually load it in here for now. Like... This. This should also be an insulated pipe. This will break eventually because we're going to be pumping it from the geyser, but this should work for the next 20 cycles. And then I think all I do with this is dump it in here. And then we dig all of this crap out. Yes, that seems like a plan. Right, okay. We'll do that for now. We'll finish off the shovel stuff once we've got the metal refinery up and running. Um, we are going to want a light. Which I suspect I'm just going to put here. Uh... See here. Yeah, so don't mind this little bit of stuff. So lamp goes here. Uh we'll make it out of gold just to be safe. Then we'll put in a we'll put in a motion sensor as well, just uh once we've actually got the metal. Who's doing this? Yeah, bat's doing it. Excellent. Nice. Uh, you do actually need to do this. That, what is your building priority? Your building priority is two. That's good. All right. Skills. What have we got? Rowan Masterworks. Yes, there you go. We now have a Masterworks dupe. Congratulations. This will be very useful, surely. This looks so neat with all the obsidian tiles. I love it. It's a shame we don't have any more. Oh, we do have a little bit more. Not a huge amount. We could probably add another one up here. Yeah. I want to have as many of these guys as possible. We want, we want to go ham on these. I really want to test them out and see how good they are for early game. If, if we do the build correctly. I do like the prison aesthetic we're going for as well. Uh, so let's see. Minerals. Where's the obsidian? What does it look like? It'll be near the geysers, won't it? It's this stuff that's slightly darker. It's slightly darker. 
but not enough that you can actually visually distinguish it. Well, I mean, we can dig this out, can't we? That's not going to cause any issues. A lot of that is granite, to be honest. We don't need we don't want to dig that. We don't want to dig this because it's gonna let all the sand in. Probably just that. And you still need to get over here. Because we have forbidden access over here. Okay. No, we haven't forbidden access over here. You literally just need to dig this sand. Okay. That's fine. Right, um, this can go here. That was the wrong button. This can go, um, here. Can go here. I'm not overly happy with this, but I, I, I don't think we realistically have a choice. Right, you're... Are you loaded? Are you going to get loaded by anyone? Probably if people get bored. Probably not otherwise. Uh, so these should be probably eight so that you're loading the manual um, conveyor loader instead of the feeders. Okay. What do you mean you can't reach this? Oh, you can't actually climb up here, can you? No, you need like um you need like a ladder here. And then dig this. Okay. So in terms of what we're feeding the shove bowls, we're just gonna feed them regolith. And we're gonna feed them only two kilograms. We're going to feed them the absolute minimum to stop them from starving for long enough so that they actually lay multiple eggs. That's the plan. So we want regolith. And then these can be set to one shove bowl each. Who's starving? Oh, you know. Uh, that means we're gonna have to murder a shine bug. <laughs> maybe. Uh, maybe not. We'll murder it once we've actually closed off the room. And then what else do we want? Yeah, we just want to get this done first. All right, speedy uppy. How's this ranch doing? This ranch is half full now. Nice, nice. Are we making barbecue? Yes, that's good. I do not mind that. This tree. Ah, look at this. So we got too many duplicates. The tree can consume 70 kilograms per cycle, but we're producing very slightly more than 70 kilograms per cycle of bathroom waste. So we're actually going to want to open this up and put another tree in. So let's actually remove these two and put another hydroponic farm here. This doesn't need to be a room. What's in the pod? Flatulent Masterworks Builder. Amazing. Mouth Breather. Nope. Um, handy Supplying Digger. Yokel. Uh, building Supplying Digging is such a good combo. I, yokels are definitely worse late game, but I think it's probably good enough that it's worth taking now. Okay, we'll get Gene. So, Gene, you can have building. No, you can have digging. There you go. Priorities, you can prioritize digging and then building and split. You have a little bit of decorating as well. That's very funny. Oh, look, Jean's come out wearing the proper outfit. Amazing. I'm going to have a look again. There must be, there must be a way to do this. I'm surely missing a button. Through my usual start game refinery in the Discord. I will have a look at that at the end of the stream. Go 
Do I just need to save and load? Is that how we solve the issue? I can't remember. So this pipe needs to go here. I'm doing this so that the dupes don't spread germs everywhere. And then put another tree here. And then we can continue to increase the amount of duplicates we have. I love trees. Right, this is getting built. That's nice. Mm hmm Okay, so now we need a, a little bit more conductive wire as well. And that needs to go here. You know what? Let's look at it now. Go on, go on then. Go on then. What we got? So you have it in space. You have it going up to a liquid reservoir that is just exchanging temperature with space. It can take 300 cycles to melt a cold biome. That's good. I mean, we're going to electrolyze all the hot water anyways, so I think that's fine what we're doing. That is an interesting build. Right, so... I don't want to do gold amalgam. Copper, let's see, what's the lowest amount of heat I can reasonably do? Cobalt? We don't have a huge amount of cobalt. Maybe we just refine all the cobalt. That's a fairly large amount of heat, though. <laughs> The pipe is the thing that's getting cooled down. Yeah, fair enough. So this is, yeah, steel is the one that produces way too much heat. Maybe we just do copper. No, let's just do cobalt, whatever. All the cobalt will become refined metal. That's what we'll do. And that water won't get hot enough after one pump to, to break the machine. Oh, no, what's going on? Why have we got a spray? What happened? <laughs> My alert has not worked. Something Thanks has gone wrong. <laughs> Command on, thank you very much for following. Enjoy your fish and froggy uh, emotes that showed up a bit ahead of schedule. <laughs> and uh, Whiskers sends her regard. Whiskers is actually out and about at the moment. Hold on. Yeah. Look, there's Whiskers. Oh, Whiskers. <laughs> Say hi to Command on. No, you, you decided to fall asleep now. Amazing. Very productive fish. Right, this is full. Uh, someone is going to come here and do this. I guess people have a lot of stuff to do. Um, you shouldn't be rock crushing anymore. Oh, you're all in downtime. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, most of these mealwoods are growing again. That's good. I think the other ones aren't growing because of air pressure. Oh, that one's that one's too hot. That's fine. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna the bathroom bit. I'm fairly happy with. You know what? Let's actually decorate the bathroom. We got some granite. Um, we're gonna go with our usual aquatic mosaic for the bathrooms because it's so aesthetic. This one looks a bit weird, um, because we have the shower as well, but that's fine. I think this room is staying as it is. This room can have the coffee print. This is what I like to use drywall for. I like to use drywall to confirm which rooms I'm actually definitely leaving where they are. That is, that is how I like to use it. We could do some for the ranches as well. What color do I want to make the ranches? You guys are eating rock. I could give you the... Hold on. Where is it? The digital charcoal. Yeah. Ooh, that does look good. Yeah, let's do it like that. And we'll wait for someone to do all the metal refining and then we'll finish off the shovel ranches. There you go. Um, yeah, these are all going to stay like this. We're confident we're not going to move any of this. The dropper, we might actually move upwards at some point. It depends how zealous we get about pips. This is a very pretty wallpaper. I like it. We might actually do the same for the shuffle rogers. We'll see. 
Right, there we go. Ashcan is on the job. He's making the co cobalt. So I think what I'm going to want to do is I'm actually going to want to make some conductive tire there. So this should be granite. This should be granite. And make that priority nine. So that should solve the refined metal problem. And then if we just look for more cobalt. That is going to show... That's that's only found in these metallic cave formations. So we'll just refine all of that. And then we can leave the other metals for other uses. Cobalt is pretty good. It's pretty conductive. So I think if we just come this way, that'll be fine. Um... We will need to put a ladder here. We will need to come down here. There's a little bit of slime lung down here, but to be honest, I'm willing to put up with it. Right, how's the oxygen looking? Below the target temperature over here, and then it warms up over here because I think this area is just warm in general. Uh, I think it's cooling down. This, it looks like it's cooling down. Maybe I'm just being optimistic. There's still a lot of hot mass here. I should probably just dig all of this. Um, except the abyssalite. Can you actually come down here if we do it like that? I don't think so. But we can try it. Yeah, and then that water is coming out at 72 degrees. That's not an issue. And there was a plan where we were eventually going to... We were eventually going to do something um, dumping some more water in here, weren't we? Do I even care about that now? I think I need to dig this, and then you can actually reach down to this polluted water and mop it up. I think I'd have to be very careful about what water we're letting down here, because that is off to the 30 degrees. Right, what's going on? Who's starving? A few people are starving, because it's just meal lice. You shouldn't be starving. You really shouldn't be starving. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. Stop whinging. Yeah, look at this. Oh, that's so weird. It looks it looks <laughs> it looks better up close. No, it looks it looks better it looks better from a distance. Oh, you know what? Should I have actually rotated it so it was like this? Have it be crosses. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe we'll leave it like this down here and then we'll rotate it up here. Yeah, let's try that. So, what exactly is that going to look like? Oh, yeah, that looks way better. Yeah, let's do this. Very important task. Ah, uh, that one's wrong. I'm suffocating. I don't think you are suffocating. Oh, you're down here. Okay, maybe you're suffocating down here. <laughs> Poor sod. Well, I mean, this is fairly easy to dig. I don't think you are going to suffocate. Um. Yes. Well, that's one way of getting rid of all the polluted oxygen. You're fine. I can dig this, though. That'll help you speed up a little bit. So that can go there. Let's rotate this. Again. 
can keep placing all of these. So I tried one of those um, fuel shakes today, whatever they are. Um, those complete meal things, because I got one reduced the other day and I uh, forgot to have anything in the house for breakfast. So it was actually pretty nice. It was really thick, but it was actually not too bad. It had a bit of a weird aftertaste, but it wasn't it wasn't awful. I don't think I would get it again unless it was reduced, though, because it's a lot of money. Although, I guess it is technically a full meal replacement. So, if you're considering it the cost of a bottle of fuel versus the cost of a bottle of, of, of a ready meal or something, it's not too bad. But, I don't want to make it a habit. <laughs> Life is dystopian en enough. I don't want to just wrinkle my meals. What's going on here? It's, it's still alright? Yeah. I still don't trust this. Also, why have we got this hydrogen up here? Something's gone wrong. Surely. Are we ever getting any hydrogen in this pipe? I mean, I've not seen it. Yeah, base is full of oxygen. Biggest only request replace wallpaper without having to destroy it. Uh, yes. Fair enough. Coffee! Coffee, coffee, coffee. Bat, you can have supplying two. Meat, you can have digging. Minor radiation sickness. See, it shows up on the disease tab. Why doesn't it show up on the sick duplicates tab? What a load of faff. You're almost over there. Where's the rest of this cobalt? There was a little bit down here. Oh, that's all the way down there? Oh, no thanks. That'll do for now. Yeah, it's going to take forever for this to heat up, especially if we're not actually um, consuming that much oxygen. But yeah, these pipes are cooling down. I think this is definitely working. There is obviously a heat leak over here. Um, but maybe I just put some insulated tile over here. Maybe. Maybe that's how that worked. What's in the pod? Oh, iron! <laughs> You're going to give us iron now. Excellent. We got another Critter Rancher available, maybe? A gourmet interior decorator. Good grief. No. Just regular iron, please. Mr. Hatch, you need to you need to go to your respective place. Let me actually select you. There you go. We have a sage hatchling. I think honestly, um at the moment, I'm just gonna crack all the sage hatchling eggs. That's what we're going to do. It sounds like we need a little bit more food. And I don't think I have any immediate plans to use them after all. We'll get more. We'll get more later. We're not going to run out of sage hatchlings. Yeah, that looks so much better. Am I really going to replace all of this? I don't know. I might leave it like this just to see what it looks like. You can't really see it over here anyways. I'm still not sure we're going to leave this like this in the long run. Maybe we'll get some pips to plant something, I don't know. May, you can have building. Right, so we actually have a little bit more refined metal now. We have the metal refinery, haha. Uh -huh. So let's put some auto sweepers in here. And then we want conveyor receptacles. These can just go here. And then timer sensors so these timer sensors are going to be what controls the feeding rate of the shot bowls so those can just go over here and then those just go straight to the yeah they'll just go straight to the auto sweeper 
It looks like the sh the shine bug has moved on. Fair enough. I like it actually. This is growing on me. Like a wonky square. I don't think the oxy ferns are going to stay here forever. I should have drive all this. I don't think that's going to move. This probably isn't going to move. Let's put coffee wallpaper here as well. Coffee, coffee, coffee. I think I'm making sure to do it all out of granite. Ah, another hatch. Gimme. Yeah, looks like the digging is making some progress. Good. There's a fair amount of metal in these caves. There's another cool steam vent down here. I think we knew about this one already. Yeah, I think we're all right. Um, I am going to get myself some actual squash very quickly. So in the meantime, if you're not already following, feel free to follow and you'll get a notification when I go live on Twitch. Usually doing Oni Mondays and Thursdays. We will do Oni Friday this week as well. I think. <laughs> we'll see how I feel. I'm, I'm doing Dice's for Program every other week at the moment. But uh, yes, I am just going to get a drink. I go anyway. Alrighty, I'm back. Did anyone die? Doesn't look like it. Well, that's old. I kind of thought someone was going to end up suffocating themselves at the cobalt. I guess not. There it all is. 
I need to adjust this list. Let's see. Fertilizer, yes. Phosphorite, yes. Primo garb, yes. Atmo suit, yes. I don't think I need to know about lime. I don't think I need to know about coal. Actually, I do need to know about coal. What about... Any of these? I don't think so. Dirt, no. <laughs> we have enough dirt. That's not a problem. Regolith, maybe. Data banks, yes. What else do I care about? I don't think we care about algae anymore. I don't think we care about granite. Fine metal, yes. Oh, this is all clashing with my list now. Boo! Um, Wart seed, yes. I don't think I care about any of those. Okay, yeah, you can remove all of those. That's fine. Thimble reed seed, yes. Oh, we have thimble reeds! Why aren't I growing thimble reeds? Because we don't have polluted water. I think we're still just doing trees for the bathroom. That's fine. Right. What am I going to do with this list? I think... We go here. Maybe? Let's see how that looks. Looks alright. I'm gonna want this list to be bigger. The chef, Pharaoh Frost, is having his best go. He's getting lit workspace, that's good. Contact with slime lung germs, indeed. Uh right. Power. I think this is all just going into regular wire for now. Without any issues. We will eventually replace this all with conductive wire, but probably when we actually find all the lead. Or when we actually start proactively digging it out. So that can go in there. We need the conveyor loaders as well. Those can go here. I don't think the positioning really matters too much. Ah, uh, nice having a metal refinery now. I don't think it would have made sense to put it in the space biome until we actually got the oxygen up here. That being said, yeah, there is still a lot of oxygen here. It's all leaking from over here, so that's not an issue. Yeah, I think this is working pretty well. The metal is cooling down pretty quickly, especially now it's on the granite tiles. I think that's worked pretty well. Insufficient oxygen generation. What are you talking about, Willis? Oh, because we filled up the base. Yeah, no wonder we're not generating anymore. Uh, let's, uh, let's just queue up some more research. Marble statues. And then wires can go like this. Probably fine. And then what else do we need? I think that is actually everything for those rooms. So yeah, these are set to 2 kilograms of regolith. These need to be set to... Cycles mode, set the red duration to 9 and set the green to 0 0.03. So there's going to be a... Um, there's going to be an 18 second window where the auto sweeper will actually work and reload these. So that's just going to go here. Mm -hmm. So the conveyor receptacle is where we're loading in all of the regolith. It needs to be set to a lower priority. So let's actually just set that up. Where are we going to set that up? Maybe just over here? Yeah, let's just do that for now. And then a load of conveyor rail. So that can go like this. Um, do I have any more obsidian for those tiles? It's probably not really needed. Oh, we have loads of obsidian now. Ah, excellent. I can put another one over here then. 
I want as many shove balls as I can fit. We're gonna have to actually start wrangling them soon. That's fine. We've got another hour. We've got another hour to to wrangle shove balls. I don't really mind what refined metals these are made out of. This is fine. Uh, so then, like this. Mm-hmm. This is good. Are we gonna do anything with this? I think it would be very silly for us not to. So let's actually just do that as well. And then remove this. And if a shove bowl ends up in the room, it's not the end of the world, I'm gonna be honest. That's kind of what we're aiming for. Um, you will need to dig through this, though, to access this. Right, what we got? Um, a pilot with mole hands. That doesn't sound very convenient. You're a pretty good rancher. I think we take bubbles. Good ranchers are hard to come by. Ada, you can be supplying. Hey, Cyber Gods, it's going well. We have set up a big radiator for or a cooler for all of us bomb oxygen. That's all running through here. Although it's already running at the moment because um, we're not really consuming any. So I'm printing more duplicates. I'm printing more duplicates. We have meal woods. We have endless amounts of dirt. And we are going to starvation ranch shut bowls. So we're going to stick them all up here. That's the next plan. And we've got a metal refinery. We put that over here in space as well. So that's nice and cold. There's some heat left in this heat capacity left in this water. I don't think I am going to dump any of this water down here for research. I think we're fairly close to being done on research. Now the pipes are so organized. Mine all spaghetti. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. This is the most organized spaghetti I've ever seen. Just wanted to make sure I was actually going to cool everything. It should. There isn't a significant amount of heat leak from over here because this is a cold biome or a temperate biome and the nearest light has been maintained. Shut. Starvation branches still work with shut bowls after the update. I fell off them. I might add them back in. Okay, so I watched the GC Fungus video. That was seven months ago. And someone commented asking if it still worked after the update and he said yes. <laughs> so we're going to try it and hopefully it works. I'm pretty sure it will. I... I don't see why, mechanically, it would no longer work. If it worked before. But we're here to test it, to be honest. I do like this new wallpaper. Yes, how are you doing, Snow Fox? Um, I'll still need to set all of these. Yeah, I guess eight breeders is probably enough. I'm liking how organized it looks. So we want eggs. We want eggs to go over here. All of these. Then where is that going to go? Because at the moment, I think I'm dumping all the regolith in here. Good about to get home and play only myself. Nice. Okay, so I'm doing this wrong. Um, we'll build the rails anyways because they're going to be needed for these ones. The loaders. But I think this is just going to go like this. Yeah, it doesn't make any difference. So that can go here, disconnect this. I'm gonna go like that, and then that's gonna go like this to make sure the eggs are getting out of the breeder bits. And then, yeah, we're gonna replace all this abyssalite with obsidian. I think. Just to ease conveyor design. And confirm, yes, however, you need to take care of the delectable and have a bit of extra food to feed for some extra eggs, because the delectables won't give you eggs. Yes, I think he talked about that in the original video. Let's add some more stuff. Easy to add stuff, preferably. 
Uh, can you go through here? You can go through here, but you need... Yeah, you, you just need to do everything. Just do the things, duplicates. Come on. I can go there. This loader can go here. I don't really mind what this is made of. It doesn't matter. No, oh, I'll take care of them all right. <laughs> right, um, so yeah, that's going to go... That's going to go here. It's going to come down here. And then we're going to dump all the eggs in this room. And then that conveyor loader is going to go like... Yes, I think that will do. There you go, that looks nice and organized, doesn't it? It's probably going to take you a while to build all of that. And then as for this room, we still need to groom them, even if they're being starvation ranched. We still need to actually take stuff out. And we need a loader somewhere. Oh, I see what they've done. Yeah, this can go here and then... Oh, that can't reach the whole room, can it? Um, I need to adjust that a little bit. Can I put it here? Yes. Okay. The issue with this is that I need to have an auto wrangle surplus bit, and we've got a coal power plant here instead. Which is not really what I wanted. Mm. It won't eat the coal. Let's deconstruct that. Let's let's think about this. So, I'm pretty sure... Okay, remove the wallpaper, I guess. We can figure this out. Put a tile here. Yeah, I don't think there's a huge amount of complication in this build. I think just... I think, to be honest, it's just... I never considered that you could actually just feed them just enough to barely keep them alive, and then they'd still produce two eggs. Hips are trying to get in on the uh, on the uh, prison action. This does resemble a prison, doesn't it? All sods. So this needs to be manually loaded with <laughs> everything. <laughs> no, no. This needs to be manually loaded with regolith. Yes. And then that can just plug in here. Mm hmm. We're going to have to actually go into space and grab the shot bowls. How are we going to do that? We don't want to breach the surface without um, a way to keep the gases in. I'm thinking we can probably carve a passage through where it's not going to expose us, but we have to go through somewhere that isn't full of regolith. And then we just go into the crawl space, maybe. Because they're all over here. Let me wrangle over here. We're all just hiding now. I'm gonna be honest. Maybe we just vent gases for a bit. If we're not allowed to do liquid locks, probably worth doing, and then seal it up again. They're everywhere. It's not a shut bolt. Those are shut bolts. So let's see. We put a critter drop off in here so we can auto wrangle surplus. We put a auto sweeper. I'm gonna have to move the shoot, aren't I? Oh wait, why do I have an auto sweeper here? Okay, this could get moved. Okay, that's how we solve this issue. But you need to build this tile immediately because we need to see what's actually going to happen.
God, I can't believe I haven't actually done anything with shovels yet in this game. There's so much content in this game that I still haven't done. It, it frankly annoys me. I'm very eager to check all these things off my list. But I hope we can actually cover this all with one auto sweeper while still restricting access to the dupes here. Now who's doing this tile? Me. Okay, that's fine. It looks very pretty. I like how the prison is directly above the coffee room as well. Maybe we'll actually put a rec room here and put coffee in it. <laughs> no. Uh, I'm looking forward to actually, like, updating the base. It's very functional at the moment. But to be honest, hatch numbers are up now. We are... We've got one hatch in here. Let's turn this off. So now the rest of the hatches are going to get drowned. There is liquid in here. You just can't see it because we've got airflow tiles here. So these guys will get drowned. So now we're going to start getting loads of extra food in. Which means we can start removing the meal lice. So we'll make sure to do that soon. Right. Where's this auto sweeper going to go then? Because it needs to reach all of the tiles. Which I think we might struggle with. Yes. <laughs> yes, we will struggle. I think I just need to move the coal plant. That's what has to happen. That's what has to happen. And then I need to seal this up so that we can't access it through here because we shouldn't be able to access this through here. Uh, so you'll need to redo this again. You'll need to remove these ones. Then you need to seal this. I could have just locked the doors. I I don't think I actually want doors there long term though. Also, none of the shove balls are wandering in here anymore. I feel sad. They used to come hang out in the spawn, and now they don't. They, they still can, they just don't. That needs to get done immediately. That needs to get done immediately. And then we need to put these in, and then I can see what's actually going on. And then I think also we'll do all of these. Oh, am I out of... Uh, I'm out of... Obsidian now. Am I actually out of obsidian? Yes. Okay. Where is more? Why is the granite so dark? I believe we just sealed this off completely. I think we just temporarily open this up again and just grab all of the obsidian and leave the rest. So that can just go like this. And we'll have to do this very quickly. I mean, it's not scolding here. There has clearly been some heat transfer. But I do want you to be quick, so priority nine, let's dig. Yeah. Oh, look, Bubbles is wearing the suit now. Oh, because Bubbles is the new dude. Oh, it looks so good. Men in black. Uh, you need to dig this too. Wait, where's the automation wire? Wait, why is that going there? Oh, right, okay. <laughs> Um, yes. That coal plant. Probably not needed for now. Uh, you know, it probably is because we're not actually producing a lot of hydrogen at the moment. So let's put this back. That will go here. Uh, 
What exactly is this wire doing? I can't. Oh, that was for the auto sweeper. Oh, okay. We don't need this. Yeah, ignore that. How's the dig going? I'm very tempted to just yell about this dig, to be honest. But we'll, we'll hold off for now. So we need a critter drop off here. We got suit wearing eight exosuit trained mouth breather. Oh gosh. No. Mouth breathers suck. I'm not taking any more mouth breathers. Not on this run. Which is a shame, because it's really good. An uncultured builder who loves animals. That sounds like a good pick. There you go. Welcome to it. We are, we are just adding duplicates now, because we're not going to run out of food and we're not going to run out of oxygen. So we're going ham again. How many we get? Who knows. Oh, wait. We haven't given them more beds. Or more, <laughs> or more things up here. Um... That would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Yes, more beds. Uh, and as for mess tables, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna be real. We need, we need um, another great hall, I think. Oh, you know what we're gonna do? We're actually just going to remove. All of this, except this. We're going to move that here. Deconstruct these. We're going to make this another great hall. We'll have two different great halls with two different phones. That's what we'll do. Uh, so we need to do that immediately because we probably had dupes just sleeping on the ground for a while and I've forgotten about it. So we've got eight beds down here. This is 14 beds. Yeah, yeah, we've literally had people sleeping on the floor. This is probably too many mess tables, but that's fine. That's a great wall now as well. What what a challenging build that was. Ah, there's a shuffle. Ah. He is interested in our works. Okay, so that needs to be priority nine. This needs to be priority nine. Hey, look, he, he's in here. He's eating the food. He's eating uh, a few bits of food. He's elderly. Oh, come on. Boo. <laughs> Boo hiss. Okay, I don't think we need to wrangle you then. You've made a tile. Amazing. He's a cutie. Uh, so I need to do that tile and that tile. Just priority nine everything. See, this is a very good time to use the uh, new nine emote if you're a subscriber. <laughs> I'm very pleased with how that looks with the roll. Yeah, this is all going to change. I am not sticking around with that. You're out of power. Spawn is out of power because it wasn't producing enough hydrogen. Amazing. I'm not overly impressed with this build, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> Yay! Nines. Nine, 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 nine. It always reminded me of the uh, nines from uh, Undertale. Yeah, I don't want to have too many game-specific emotes. I want to leave the emotes fairly general to the channel. But I feel like the nines thing has become such a meme that we have to have it. And the same with the Dyson Speed Program belts. Like, that has to be a thing. Oh, this is annoying me. Let's move that. Get that out of here. Yes, you are now our first shine uh, shove bowl. We haven't actually... We haven't actually intended to do stuff with you. That's fine. 
I mean, maybe you'll lay an egg. Probably not. Also, these need... Oh, wait, I remember now. These need to be set to priority one. These have to be set to priority one so that we're not manually loading them. And I think these also need to be set to priority one. People are idle. I need to re-enable that mod. It's already annoying me. Um, what does that mean? Maybe that means we set up a gym. I don't know where the gym's gonna go at the moment. Over here? Maybe. You guys could do with training. So... Yeah. You're just gonna go this way. And then we're going to have a light up here. Yeah. Then we're going to have a timer so that it interrupts you guys. And that's very important because otherwise they'll end up going to the gym idle and then errands will come up and they won't return to them. Oh, wait, no, that's not right. Uh, cancel automation. That needs to go here. I think 10. <laughs> 10 things will do. And that just needs to go here. And to be honest, I could probably include a power shutoff as well. And we could probably run the base off of this with enough people. But I... Maybe. Uh, these need to be set to priority one. First shot, first shot bowl. The shine bugs have decided to go away. Maybe we just make this the thumbnail. Uh, oh, we need to actually finish the um, the room here. Right, so auto sweeper. That can reach every tile from here now. I think I'll put it here. And then the chute can go here. So that's going to... Wait, yes. That's going to dump eggs. So that's fine, because the shove balls can climb around. I can go there. This needs to be set to all auto wrangle surplus zero. And then... If any of these become empty... Oh, we need critter sensors, don't we? Where am I going to fit those? Um. Balls. Where am I going to fit those? Here. <laughs> it's an optical illusion. I like it. So, if any of these are, op are empty, then we open this door. And this automation wire goes here. This is eight sodding sensors. So we need an we need like a multitude of AND gates for this. Oh, I'm sure there's a way of doing this with logic, isn't there? Chat. There's there's definitely a way of just having eight eight sensors come eight uh, lines coming out of here and then just doing it with like priority or something. I've forgotten what it is though. Like is it is it that if one of them goes red then all of them will go red? And then I just set it with a not gate? Gonna do something with this door. So that's gonna go here. I could just do a series of AND gates. So that would be OR gate. Yeah, so it'd be a series of OR gates. 
So, or gate, or gate. I, I definitely don't need to do this. But I can't remember what to actually do. So, not like that. Like this. So, that goes like that. Goes like that. Goes like that. Then that goes like that, and then that goes like that. So then we got four signals. I'm, I'm sure you guys are enjoying watching me suffer with this automation, because this is definitely not how we're supposed to do it. Um, I think we've just put the other gates in here. And then we do something like... Oh, no, not like that. Let's figure out where these wires are going first. So that could just bridge over here. That could bridge over here. That can bridge over here, and then that one doesn't need to bridge. So... Something like this. Or gate here. Ah, yes. Um, no, not like that, because it needs one more after this. Let's do an or gate here. Then that can go like that, that can go like that. Wait, grooming stations have auto inputs? How long has that been a thing? Did they add that recently, or am I just crazy? Right, so then that goes like that. Um, I was hoping I could sneak it in here. I don't think I can. Let's do it like this. Well, there you go. That's horrendous, and it's <laughs> it's going to be ours. So if any of these ranches empties, then this door will open and we'll auto-wrangle a guy from here and put it in the right one. That sounds good to me. And then we need the grooming station here. We also need a conveyor loader, which can go here. And then we've got a whole column left. So that column, so that is full of, that is where the meat and stuff is going. Oh, I need to set edibles in here as well. We want meat. Yeah, that can go in here. You poor sod. You're, you're definitely not going to lay an egg. But we're going to look after you anyways. I mean, I'm hoping we managed to hide a fair few of these wall gates. <laughs> it shouldn't be too obvious. That we've uh, watched it. Building in tune. Ah, here we go. Another shove bowl. You're not elderly. There you go. I did feel. I did think that we got rid of all the debris. I guess we made some more debris over here, didn't we? Well, that's fine. Right. So then, more wires. Let's go over here. Remove this one. Remove that one. Then this needs to be set to edibles. And probably eggshell as well, but I'm not going to worry about that for now. We're definitely going to move our rock crusher. It's probably not always going to be in here. 
Maybe it is? I don't know. It looks so ugly. I think that's everything we need in here. So then all the shove bowls, all the shove bowl crap is going to come down here. So the, the meat, the meat is going to come this way. And we're just going to send it down the fire pole. Thanks and for that's going to go to the kitchen. Thank you very much for the follow, PunkW444. Enjoy your fish and froggy notes. Whiskers sends the regards. Whiskers is currently having a nap. Think on a plane. Amazing. Yes, thank you very much. I'm glad you're enjoying the Shove Bowl show today. I'm not going to compare any of this yet. We'll compare it once we actually figure out where the food is going. Um, for now, I'm literally just going to dump it here. We need to make an actual freezer. And this time, what I'm going to do with the freezer, instead of making a CO2 pocket and dumping the food in it and cooling the CO2, we're going to do a vacuum pocket where we're going to chill the food. And that way, we're not going to have heat leaking from the freezer. Because the chilled food will stay frozen if it's in a vacuum. If we pre-chill the food. I want to try that out instead of our usual freezer build. <laughs> you have been... You have been trust. But presumably someone is going to come and actually grab you at some point. Yeah, you still need to be groomed over here. That's fine. And then, what do we put here? I don't know. I don't think we need to put anything. We've actually managed to make everything fit. What a relief. We can remove these. I guess. Uh, I kind of like how it looks. Yeah, I kind of like how this looks. I think we leave it. It's fine. It's a shame you're doomed. See what reproduction uh, percentage you're at when we, uh, when you're uh, inevitably tamed. Yeah, so if you guys are idling at any point, you will be running on these. Oh, I need to set this to 24 and 1. So this will interrupt at every schedule block. So if a dupe goes to the gym, they will not um, stay on the gym all day. Good idea. These are not getting... Let's see. Built full of sand. You are going down here. That's good. Okay. So these are set to priority 5. These are set to priority 8. So they should be getting auto swept. I think the dupes... I think the dupes like doing these jobs. They're not eating a huge amount. How many hatches we got? 12 hatchlings? We got 70 hatchling eggs? Stone hatchlings? Do I, I don't want stone hatchlings in this run. Uh, so let's egg crack those as well. For now. If we ever if we ever want more of them, we'll get more. It's not an issue. Crit to starvation. Shove bowl starving? That is yes, that is the plan. <laughs> reproduction. 2% reproduction reproduction per cycle. Yes, we need to get the rest of the shove bowls in here. So you need to get wrangled. This is a yellow alert now. And then we've actually got to get into space and grab the rest of them. A volpup? That's just convenient. Okay. You can get it. Talk about good luck. Although you're going to go wild on the base until we actually manage to get you. Um, Pharaoh, you can have digging. That's fine. <laughs> Quick, grab him. Grab the cute little um, fugitive. There you go. Before he eats all that dirt. It's gone. He's trust, but he's still moving around. How does that work? Uh, we are dumping shot bowls in here, right? Oh, we need bowl pups in here as well. 
Is that what Sinister Plank is currently up to? Yes. Good. Yes, so now you're going to eat. Yum, 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 yum. Mm hmm Yep, very tasty. Not a lot of food. So we need to make sure these are all set to the same thing. Because we're feeding them a very light diet. I don't think that one was set. You've been eating a fair bit. There's a tiny baby. There's a tiny baby. Tiny baby. <laughs> this critter will grow into an adult as it ages and becomes wise in the ways of the world. Yes. This is your world now. You are stuck in the shove bowl uh, prison. <laughs> I like it. It looks like the dupes are coming back to feed, to fill these because they're bored. I mean, that's not really what we want. I need to turn this idle notification mod on again. Uh, right. So, where are the rest of the shove bowls? Because we're going to need to grab them. I think we just do a wrangle command over, like, the whole bit. Don't worry about you. And then we just see where they all are. There's two over there. And let's see if there's any over here. So... Interesting. How are we even going to get these guys? Okay, hear me out. This isn't a liquid lock. This is just a conspicuously placed blob of water that was some ice that melted in a natural environment. So we're going to, uh, we're going to come out this way. Is this scolding? No, this isn't scolding. Right, so you guys can start doing this. Hey, hey, no, no, no. You, you, you saw this ice melt. I didn't do anything here. <laughs> this was always allowed. How many guys are running on the gym? Not a lot. No, you're all eating food at the moment. That's good. I... <sighs> I'm going to build another load of beds up here. Because we're going to keep printing more dupes. Now that the hatches are coming online, we're starting to get a bit more food. We do need this to be priority 9. I want to make sure that we're actually getting barbecue for, um, if we're not eating the meat. It would be nice if we found a Paku as well, but... Um, there are no Pakus in here. Orbs up to. Literally just three whole ass orbs in here. Yay, they're 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 contained and they're not actually breaking out, that's a relief. You guys can actually wander through here, you just aren't, because we've got more important things to do. That's good. Ah, you have sealed yourself with more sand, okay. That's fine. Yeah, so I want to see if there's any shut bowls up here as well. So it's about time we got to the top of this bit. Oxygen do you have? A little bit, not a lot. Must be said. You're still making more cobalt. That's good. We uh, used most of that up. <laughs> Funny looking eyes. They're like stars. Oh, right. These. So I need to set these. So if the critter sensor is... 
10 green signal if below one critter. And then if any of these receives a green signal, then the door opens. And then they can auto wrangle them. That needs to be set to priority eight. I think that makes sense. Right. How's this going? Are you actually digging this? No, because because reasons. I'm not actually going to do this. I'm going to build a ladder here. There is going to be a little bit of waiting around while we're getting this done. You're suffocating. Oh, you. Oh, you're coming back to grab... No, you're not coming back to grab more stuff. What are you doing? Maybe they were en route to grab stuff earlier. Oh, they're trying to grab the cobalt, maybe. Is there actually any oxygen down here for you to breathe? No. <laughs> there is none. Okay. Um, how about you dig this? I feel like you're going to struggle to actually move anything. Otherwise. There you go. Yeah, you've got oxygen down here, so you definitely don't need a mask. We did have masks. I don't think I really need it anymore. Still nice and cool over here. Yeah, this oxygen is now properly cool. Okay, I'm, I'm fairly convinced that we are cooling down the base. This looks cooler. That's good. What can I say? I'm very easily convinced. What's on the colony report? Generate power. So you guys are mostly running on the wheels. And I'm missing it. Ah, look, we're drowning hatches. It's actually happening. Good. <laughs> Good. Might as well let me being dropped then. I don't think the meat is being dropped anywhere. I think that would go here. I think I need to actually take the meat and put it in here because if I don't... Are you grabbing that? Okay. And reach that target, aren't you? Oh yeah, everyone's just grabbing the meat immediately. Okay. Maybe this isn't as much of an issue as I thought it was. I'm gonna set up a conveyor just for now. But this will move. Later on. We're not gonna do the big one all the way up from over here, because I'm still not exactly sure what's going on with these shut balls yet. All I know is we're trying to grab them. Instead of just trying to um, breathe next to all the morbs. Nice. That's right. I can hear shuffles. Yeah, here's one. Okay. There's quite a few up here. That's good. We want to fill each of these rooms. I'm going to keep going for another... 20 minutes. Oh wow, look how many there are. They're all over here. Okay, that's actually quite convenient. Good. You are still going to need to breathe though. So I think we need to open that. Sinister Plank, you're doing God's work. You're sleepy? That's not exactly good. Right, so I think we just keep going straight up. Um, so I think we literally just do this. And then 
Maybe we just go underneath this bit, actually. Leave the regolith intact. I think that makes sense. Get some more dirt while we're at it. It's going to be a bit challenging up here. Yeah, I think we're going to have to burrow into that bit here. And then we've pretty much space. Oh my god, look at all that meat. <laughs> we've got 16,000 calories of meat. These shovels give you so much meat when they die. Even if relatively few of them are breeding, it's still a decent amount of meat. Oh, look, there's more up here. Wow. Look how many shovels there are. It's potentially excellent. And then what we could do is... Is that even more? No, there's slime. <laughs> there's no slime lug out here anymore. That's fine. Um, I think we would just dig this. And then we would just dig this. At this point. Uh, ah, there's some oxygen here as well. Let's actually just dig this quickly. This water is still very hot. This isn't going to melt anytime uh, freeze anytime soon. <laughs> this water isn't going to melt anytime soon. Stay tuned for more. Stay tuned for more insightful insights. I feel like more hydrogen has leaked than it should have. This is a lot of hydrogen up here now. And there's some up here as well. Oh! Oh, shit. Yeah, that's what's going on. Why is it still a vent? Well, I mean, it's conductive with the top of space, which is what we want. But, um, yeah, I don't think it was intentional. Yeah, over here, though. Must have gone all the way down here and then around. Right. So, let's see. So you've been fed. You're still looking for food. So your reproduction is going up by 17% per cycle at the moment. Your calories are going down by 4,800 per cycle. So, this is going to go back to 2% fairly soon, but you will lay another egg. You are, uh... You are going to die fairly soon. You're going to die before you lay an egg. Very, very much a shame. I feel like we're kind of pushing, pushing the limits of what we probably should be doing to try and get these guys. Oh look, there's more, there's more air in here. Because of the off gas. It's kind of wild. We're going to get the surface breach. That would be nice. Yeah, is Ashcan on this too now? We've got two diggers. Maybe. No. <laughs> He's just like, nah, I need more air. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely stretching what we can get away with. Fried mushrooms, anyone? Bottomless stomach, bottomless stomach, undigging. Fried mushrooms it is. Also, look how much extra food we got. Everyone's eating the meat now. I don't think we need all these meal lice anymore. So let's actually uproot these ones. Because they're annoying. I don't mind if they're running on the wheels, because that is training their athletics. It's okay to not be... Yeah, you're not actually making it up there, are you? You're not fast enough. Doesn't help that you're pausing so long between digs. I think we need oxygen masks. Or to let more oxygen through here. Actually... Oh, there is oxygen, it's just milligrams. 
It's just a long way for them to go up here. Also, I'm speed 3-ing it. That's not helping. Speed 2. You never want to speed 3 if the dudes are suffocating because they spend long enough thinking that it affects how much they actually do. Which is a shame because we just want to come up here and grab all the shuffle meat. Look how much meat there is. Oh my god, look at that guy. He absolutely zipped around to get to that dirt. Stop eating all the dirt. Yeah, look how quickly his calories zoom down. Well, if nothing else, they're cute. And at least they're not getting in our way. Alright, we'll speed through it while we're not actually doing this. And I think we just make these... Let me make these yellow alerts. There's actually a load of them over here. So we could probably do this pretty quickly. Although for yellow alerts, if you're going to get pulled all over the place, aren't they doing this? They're not going to be in one place long enough for us to actually do it unless we actually seal someone up here. But then they're just going to suffocate. Hmm. Hello, Ziphophorus. We are hunting shove bowls. That's what we're doing. Mima is on it, but she's probably not going to make it. <laughs> we're trying desperately to get these shovels out of space. We, uh, we're not allowed... Oh, wait. Hold on. Gas is all leaking up here now. So it is actually going to space. We, <laughs> we had a liquid lock and we bypassed it because there was a load of oxygen over here. I guess a load of oxygen is kind of overselling it a little bit. Yeah, get him. Get him. You got him. He's trapped. Uh, can we actually reach him? <laughs> I'm not sure. Can I actually dig this? Yeah, I feel like you guys aren't quite making it. It's kind of annoying, because there is oxygen down here, but there's just not enough. And they're too slow actually climbing up. Not quite making it. Right. Uh-oh. Need to dig this now. This definitely isn't efficient, but I am finding it amusing, so that's fine. I'm going to get this guy before he breaks loose. <laughs> These pool salts. They're probably going to get pretty irradiated as well, just running past the uh, satellite. Right, there you go. I'm going to set these to yellow alerts as well. We are going to thoroughly abuse the priority. Grab him. This is what all that gym training was for. Yeah, you're, you're just not making it, dude. Just not enough. Uh, what now? I could get you to do this. That will let more oxygen through, maybe. Is that more obsidian? No. Oh, you know what? I think I just need to put a vent over here now, to be honest. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, just overpressurize this area a bit more. It does just take too long for you to come up here, though. You gonna, gonna be able to grab him? No. Oh, you let him out! <laughs> no! 
You let him out at the wrong point. Yeah. Oh god, now he's trapped. Now he now he's he's infiltrated. No. Oh cock. Well, that's not good. Climbing a mountain to get space pig. Yeah, pretty much. Um, this isn't working. Uh, let's just turn off all these yellow alerts. I want to dig this at some point. That's where all the shot bowls are. I mean, we did at least get some shop bowls, so it's not like a complete farce. But yeah, you're starving. You've got ten cycles to go. You will lay another. You will lay another egg, and you will get fed before then because this timer is going to wrap around before then. So I see how this works. We get fifty percent reproduction per cycle, and they start off happy for some of it. So it's actually enough for them to just about produce two eggs, but one of them might be a delectable egg, and that chance increases if the body temperature is between 60 and 100, which it is not. These shove bowls can handle pretty much any temperature. And it's not in that zone because it's quite cold up here, so they will stay shove bowls for the most part. But, um... I mean, if we vent more oxygen over here, that will help. But I don't think that's, like, fully the solution. Yeah, we can dig all of that as well. I'm going to earn a skill point. Bubbles, you can have ranching. There you go, that's good. Mayflower, you can have digging. I think we need to keep an eye on you because you're actually potentially going to cause trouble. Oh, there's more of you. Oh, you're all getting in now. Hmm. I mean, it might be good if they actually come further down. Alright, let's try it. You might have a bit more luck now that there's more air coming out over here. They do at least like to hang out in the, um, in the open sometimes. So this might not be a completely fruitless task. We do have multiple ranches. It almost seems like they actually wait outside when they're about to be wrangled. Because these guys aren't going anywhere. It's very kind of them. They could easily escape, but they're choosing not to. Yeah, you guys can reach these ones. That's good. Although you didn't quite manage to wrangle him in time. Yeah, there you go. You got him. I think that one is going to get moved. That's good. Then we can keep looking around. I think I actually want them to come down here. Because if they get stuck in this block, that's not really an issue. Oh, you're another one. Okay. Yeah, we'll wrangle you too. And uh, we gotta get we gotta get the surface breach today, haven't we? Come on. All you need to do is dig this and we'll get the surface breach. There's not enough gas moving through here anyways. To cause any issues. Use the move command might stop them run. Um, Ranches um, running off after they trust them up. I mean, they're running off because. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, maybe. That's what you mean. Need to speed to it again. Ah, oh, we're so close. Play that jingle. <laughs>
Yes. Play that jingle. No. <laughs> These poor sods. We're really abusing them today. Honestly, we may just have to put oxygen masks here. Uh, you're so close. One tile left. Yeah, do it. No! You're not suffocating. There you go. The shine bug died! The shine bug got too cold. It's very funny. Bubbles, you're just too slow. You're not going to do this. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to make the dupes suffer just a little bit. Yeah, you're not going to make it either, Bat. Okay, this this clearly can't be a yellow alert because the wrong people are doing it. Yeah, shovel number four. How old are you? You're 26. Okay, that's good. It might take a while before we start getting surplus eggs. Because... You only really get the second egg once you raise them from scratch. Because it takes... It takes 50 cycles per egg, more or less. When they're... Being starvation ranched. Meanwhile, this guy's just vibing. See, now, now the air pressure is good here. And this has actually formed a bit of a CO2 lock. If we look at the gases, the CO2 has plugged this gap, so the oxygen can't flow up here. Which means we're not actually losing any gases, because this is going to have to vacuum out fully. And that's going to take a long time for uh, the CO2 starts moving up. And I'm going to be honest, I kind of want to vacuum the this gas that's full of slime lung. Alright. You going to do it? You going to make it out? No. 15%? Fifteen percent food quality, nice. Oh, you're not gonna get it. You have to actually get outside. This doesn't count as a surface breach because it's still. Uh... Yeah. Okay. I think we might have to actually get like a, um, a mask or a suit to actually go all the way through here. So let's very quickly. All we have to do is literally put the checkpoint here. Uh, you know what, remove this. Remove all these mask points forward. We built a load of them earlier anyways. Deconstruct. Deconstruct. Put those here. Who's sleeping? Bubbles? No, we exhausted Bubbles. That does make sense. Oh, look, we got a Sparkle Streaker. Is he going to make it? What's he grabbing? Grabbing the meat? No, he's grabbing the algae. That's funny. Uh, you know what? Wait. I really just want to get you out into space. All you need to do is this. And then you can do it. Right, so checkpoint goes here. We need a wire as well, don't we? No, we don't need a wire. We just need the pipe. And the pipe is already full of oxygen. That's good. And I like how it's uh, where the critofluxomatic is as well. It's very aesthetic. I'm just going to priority nine wrangle these guys again. Oh, there's one more in here. Well, that's good. Yeah, because he's gonna bugger off unless he's actually They're so fast in the in the tiles. It's ridiculous. <laughs> you sealed them in! <laughs> you sealed in Gene! Gene, you've gotta make it outside. It's the only way. <laughs> the 
That's so funny. Right, so you need to deliver the suits. Deliver. We'll get this done by hook or by crook. I should have probably done this like 20 minutes ago. There we go. Um, Dreckler eggs. Well, if you insist. We could have easily grabbed them from that biome. This isn't really changing anything. We'll take the Drekos. We'll take the Drekos. We'll do something with them soon. I'll probably put them by the shop bowls, to be honest. Meep can get digging. Uh, Mima can get digging. Everyone needs hard digging. I should start putting critters in this, shouldn't I? Maybe that's how we get the glossy Draco. Yeah, activate this. And then, to be honest, I think we just remove this vent. Uh, you need to dig this as well. Oh, I need to wrap this up soon, but I really, really, really just want to do the surface breach. For no real reason. Okay, right. You have masks now. So you should be able to dig just fine. You activating the machine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Okay. So we need to drop critters off in here at some point. We'll do that. We'll do that maybe next time. Ah, yeah. Now you're grabbing the extra metal. Fair enough. Gene. Gene. You, you forgot your mask. I believe in you. I don't think it's going to be you that does it. Bubbles is on the way. Nope. Here we go eat. Boo. Boo hiss. Are there any more masks? No, I think you need to make some more. Oh, you still need to remove these? Fair enough. Can't actually get down here, can't you? No. Okay, there we go. We've opened that door again. Wait, this is erupted again. This is erupted again. I wasn't paying attention. So now we're actually getting uh, scalding water mixing in with this. So... That's going to heat up the area a lot. We're almost done with all that cobalt. Um, if the water heats up by... How much is this going to heat up by? 30 degrees. Potentially going to cause some issues. Yes. So I need to actually cut this off for now. While we're doing this. Also... This is not very efficient, is it? <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to cut this off. We're doing, we were doing this because we need to dump the water from the geyser out of here. Oh, I know what we do. Maybe we actually just uh, do this for now. Maybe we just put a valve over here. Or a vent over here. Come on, dudes. All right, Sinister Plank. I trust you. You're gonna, you're gonna do the surface breach. Now you guys can actually grab the shove bowls. That's good. Okay. You can do it. I believe in you. Here you go. There's one small step for dupe. One giant leap for dupe kind. Bing bong. Bing bong. We did it. We got the music. <laughs> you came out of lurk just in time. Yeah. Congratulations, you did the thing. We found the treasure trove of, sh of shut bowls. And now we actually have the auction masks over here. So we are going to get them all back. We are filling the shut bowl hotel. And this is going to... Oh no, this guy evolved into meat. Well, there you go. Look how many calories we have now. 
You have to go very tired? No worries. I'm wrapping up in like five minutes. I've got- I- I still got stuff to do. I've still got to finish that video. Yeah, you're grabbing the shove balls. Pretty happy about this. Yeah, you guys are fine now with the- with the masks. In terms of the gases, yeah, the CO2 is sealing in most of the gases. I'm not overly worried about this. Maybe I'll just put a tile here just to... So I don't forget about it. Yeah, I think that's it. I think uh, that's where we wrap it up. Uh, with the Shove Bowl Hotel. <laughs> Maybe this would be... Yeah. I don't like that this list actually comes in front of where the thumbnail is supposed to be. I can probably move that a little bit. No, that's not right. Maybe down here? Why? Maybe under here and I'm just... I just need to be really thorough with this message. Yeah. Right, um, let's see. And then how do I actually set this as well? Properties? Yes. So that needs to be orientated left. Okay. I think it's going to clash with chat if people start talking. Oh well, I'll just do it like that for the thumbnail for now. Yeah, shut balls. We're getting shut balls. It's all good. We'll investigate how starvation ranching them, how effective it actually is over the next few streams. But I'm, I'm pretty happy, I think. Yeah, you're getting ranched too. That's nice. You're all very cold up here, though. <laughs> Mima's dropping one off. Nice. Okay. That's all good. I'm happy with that. I think we've done some good today. Alrighty, music time. And we've still got some time for the fish as well. That's always nice. Thank you very much for watching. It's been fun. Um, we did actually grab some shove bowls. We um, have set up appropriate quarters for them so they're, they're not crawling all over the asteroid. And hopefully Starvation Ranching them is going to go well. I think it I think it will. I don't think we're going to get a huge amount of profit out of it, but I think it will be at least some profit. And if we ever come into a massive amount of regolith, we might even just feed one of them normally. But 4.8 tons per cycle is just crazy. Yes, thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed the uh, stream, feel free to follow on Twitch and you'll get a notification when I go live. We are doing this run Mondays and Thursdays, 7.30 to 10.30 British time on average. Um, I probably will be playing it this Friday as well. And tomorrow is actually going to be Mega Aquarium and we're going to continue the... We're going to continue the Megalopolis mission where we're trying to actually finish the base game and move on to the expansion pack content. Um, the Mega Aquarium video will come out at some point, but I think I just want to do the main mission first. And considering how busy I am with this wedding and the site visits, I think realistically it's probably not going to come out until around the wedding time. But uh, that's no problem. Um, the YouTube videos, all the VODs get uploaded to YouTube. So if you miss a stream, you will eventually be able to find it on there. I usually try and upload every day at around 1 o'clock um, when I have a video to upload. And there is a Discord where we hang out, we post memes and builds. Yeah, let me go find someone to raid. Uh, I need to actually go to bed. I think Julie Pixels has just started. Yeah. Let's go raid Julie Pixels. Oh, hold on. There's Julie Pixels. <laughs> right. Friend of the channel. If you're here from the Bat Guys raid earlier, thank you very much for sticking around. I appreciate it a lot. We're going to go raid Julie Pixels. They are doing Moonlit Clusters at the moment, and um, they're looking at some wires. <laughs> wires scare me. Yes, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye for now.